Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about caring for and maintaining your equipment after a shave. Stay tuned because I'm... That's right, I am Dave Shaves and today we are doing a non-shave video. It is shave related though. We are doing part, what is it, part four, part five? part four or five of our Shaving 101 series. And we are talking about caring for and maintaining your equipment, such as blades, razors, and brushes after a shave. Now, before we get started, I do wanna go ahead and thank you all for watching. And if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon for notifications, hit that like button and give me a comment below. Also, if you feel the need, hit me up on Patreon and follow me on social media at the Dave Shaves. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Um, the obvious place to start is going to be, in my opinion, your razors. Razors and blades, actually. So I'm going to show you how to properly clean, take apart and clean and maintain a three-piece razor, a two-piece razor, and a butterfly razor. So that's what we're gonna do. Now obviously these two have not been used. This is the one I just used, my Gillette Tech three piece. So let's go ahead and start there. What you wanna do is very carefully, you wanna rinse this, well, first of all, you wanna rinse this off. Rinse this off as best you can. I usually use cold water to rinse it off. I don't really know that there's a, a reason for it, I just use cold water. I use warm water at the beginning of the shave and during a shave, and then I use cold water after a shave. That's just the way I do things. I No one's ever told me that there's a right or wrong way to, to use water when rinsing off your stuff, but I always just use cold water at the end. So, all right, so let's go ahead and start with what we were gonna talk about before, and that's taking this bad boy apart. So what you want to do is you have the razor, hold the razor like this with this hand here and with two fingers, your thumb and your index finger or middle finger, grab the sides. Don't grab here because you'll be grabbing the sharp parts of the blade. Grab the sides here and twist until that pops off just like that. Set the handle off to the side, then very carefully remove the base plate. Now you see the blade is right in there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the base plate down. I'm sorry, the head plate. Put the head plate down. Take the base plate in your hand and just rinse this as is and rub your fingers along it and just try to get any gunk, any hair, any whatever out of there. Just turn on the water. Now this isn't about, you know, thoroughly cleaning your razors today. This is simply maintaining after a, after a shave. So once you've gotten that all nice and rinsed off, no gunk, no residual hair, nothing, it's all nice and rinsed off, you wanna take this and you wanna dry this part separately. Just wrap in a towel and very gently and gingerly give it a nice little pat down. There you go. Now you're gonna put this off to the side of the sink, any side that's not wet. Now, what you wanna do is take, very gingerly pick up this part again, and you're going to remove the blade. I usually just turn it upside down and let the blade fall off into my hand. Now, while I have the blade in my hand, we're gonna go ahead and care for this blade. Again, pick it up by the side. There's these little tabs right here and pick it up by either one of those. Do not grab the edges. They are sharp and they will cut you. Uh, most of you know that, but for beginners, just trust me. I've, and it, it honestly, it doesn't hurt to say it to all of you experts as well because 
I've been wet shaving for years and I still have a tendency to slice my finger when grabbing out a blade. So be very, very careful. What you're gonna do then is go ahead and rinse off the blade so there's no more gunk, no more hair, etc. Very carefully rub off any leftover gunk and hair that's not coming off, but avoid the edges. Once you have your blade cleaned off, you're going to do what I do is I do it exactly the same as I do with the base plate. You're going to take that towel, you're going to place it in the towel, and you're going to very gingerly pat it. Don't rub because you could cause some of the coating, some of the protective coating of the blade to come off. So just pat. Pat very gingerly until it's dry. Okay. Now, what you do here really depends on where you are in the shave process with this blade. This blade is actually done for, so I'm gonna show you how to dispose of it, but first I'm gonna show you how I keep it for later. I always keep these little paper sheets and I write down the shave that, that it's on. It was on its third, I just did its fourth shave. I could probably go for five or six shaves into Gillette, Gillette Platinum, but I don't usually go much past four because blades are cheap. You can, and in some cases I will, but usually if I have plenty of blades, which you've seen my blade stash, I usually go ahead and dispose after four, four shaves or so, or so. Some people go up, I've seen some people go as high as 10. I don't usually do that. I usually average four to seven shaves on a blade. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it good now. Um, just because it wasn't doing as well of a shave as I would hope. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it, but if I were to save it, what I would do is I would take it and I would simply put it in the little paper holder that it came in, little wrapper, and just wrap it up just like that and set it off to the side to finish drying. Don't put it back in a drawer yet, just set it off to the side to finish drying. But to dispose of it, Take in your hands just like this again. Throw out this little paper. And whatever you have, I always recommend getting a blade bank of some form. There are ones you can buy. Or what I did was I just took a mason jar and took a, made a slice right in the lid. So all you're going to do is simply, if you're ready to dispose of your blade, it's been through all the, the shaves. You don't need to put it back in its sheath. As, I, as we did. So if you want to be, if you want to continue using it, put it back in the sheath right on there, how many shaves you've done with it. But if you're done with it, just take it, plop it right in there. And that way it's out of the way, it's closed out of the way, and you can just hold on to it until this fills up and then you can dispose of it at any, any place that disposes of metal. And there's tons of those around. Just Google it. Usually a recycling center or something can have a place where you can dispose of this. So, but until then, just go ahead and keep it in blade bank or jar. I'm going to be doing this for a while because I've never filled up this, this blade, uh, this jar. So there's a shit ton of blades in there and it is never going to fill up, not for a very long time. All right. Now let's finish taking care of the razor. What you're gonna do is take the head plate next and you're gonna do the same thing you did with the face plate and the blade. You're gonna rinse it off. Get all the excess gunk, all the shaving cream, all the hair, anything, just get it out of there. And then again, just like with the others, you're gonna take it in the towel, you're gonna wrap it and you're just gonna pat it gingerly dry. just like that. Put it off to the side, rinse off the handle if needed. There you go. 
and to put it all together. You don't need to be quite as ginger and careful because there's no blade in here. So just put the face plate right back on there. Take the handle, screw it back on. Now I usually leave it a little loose for about a day or so, just so I can let it finish drying. Now, for your two pieces, you're just gonna take it apart and it's basically the same process. You unscrew the bottom, except instead of the handle unscrewing, it's just the bottom. You take this off and you got two pieces in your hand. Just what you wanna do is just rinse off the handle and face plate and to get all the gunk out of there and rinse off the head. And again, pat dry. just like so. Put it back together. And again, if you're so inclined, leave it a little loose to let it finish drying. Finally, for razors, we're looking at butterfly open. So you know I've showed these a lot on my channel. You know how to open these. Just unscrew the bottom as if it were a two-piece. Unscrew it till the doors flip open. You're just going to go ahead and rinse off any hair and gunk that's in there. Once you got that all thoroughly rinsed out, what I do is I hold this in my hand and I very gingerly rub the space in there, get it as dry as possible, get any finish getting any gunk out of there, etc. Just and just let it dry as much as possible. Then close it and again leave it open just a bit for it to finish drying. Next, let's go ahead and talk about your brushes. Brushes more or less are the same no matter what you do. What you're gonna wanna do here is, and I'm sorry, I don't really have any way of showing you guys without taking the camera down and everything, so we're just gonna do this by my voice. You're gonna take this, you're gonna turn on the water. You wanna rinse this thoroughly. Get all the soap out of there. And what I do is under the water, I'll show you. Under the water, take it in your hand or at the bottom of the sink and do the, the motion, the little round motion, as if you were lathering. Just do that to get all the hair out of there under the water. And then take it once you've done that Take it and do like little paintbrush motions. This also helps get any remainder out of there as well. Once you're sure you've gotten all the hair out of there, turn off your water, take the razor in your hand, point it upside down in your sink and just wring it out slightly. Don't pull on the knot. If you pull on the knot, you could cause the knot to dislodge. Just very lightly and gingerly press on the knot to bring out the water. Then what I do is I take it in a towel and just like I, just like I did under the water, I take it and I rub it as if I was lathering, just like that. And then you want to take it and just like a paintbrush, just like that. That's going to help A, dry it off. It's also going to help you get the bristles nicely back in order from displaying round motion. Once you have that like that, you'll notice it's pretty well dry, but not completely. So what you're going to do then is you're going to take a stand if you have one. If not, try to find some way to hang it upside down or at least on its side. Do not set it like this because this will cause the water to seep down into the knot and could end up corroding the, uh, or uh, eroding, whatever. Could end up harming the glue in there and causing the glue to dislodge and causing the, the knot to fall out. So just take it in your stand or some way and just try to hang it upside down. If you don't have any way of hanging it upside down, 
kind of lay it, I sort of lay it like this if I don't have it, just enough for the, for it to finish drying out. Don't, again, don't let it sit like this. Let it dry, preferably like this. All right, next, if you have a bowl that you lathered in or a bowl of cream or soap, like I do here, this is my 45th parallel captain's choice. What you want to do is just rinse it off. If it's if it's a regular bowl, just rinse out all the excess, get it out of there, and then let it dry off on your counter. Again, dry it here. And if it's one that has soap in it, just rinse off the excess around the sides, cleaned off a little bit. So I just take it, turn on the water, and just on the very outside and inside of it, I just rinse it all out. And I take it and I dry the outside. And just leave this open. If it's a, if it's a bowl that has, if it's a, a tin or whatever that has soap or whatever in it, leave it open and let it dry out. If you have a regular bowl that you lather in, I will show you what you want to do. I'll show you with my bowl here. Not that there's anything in here, but if there is, you simply rinse it off. Get everything out of there and then just give it a dry, just like that. Let's dry it off. And your obviously aftershaves are pretty simple. If you have an aftershave balm, just make sure you cover it. Put the lid back on, put it off to the side. Always leave your sink looking clean. It's just the way. If you if you have a shave den, I always leave my shave den leaving looking clean. I don't ever want it looking a mess. So I just always make sure everything is neat and orderly. And in its spot. Then what I do once all that is, I have one leftover mug and I simply, that's the mug that soaked my brush earlier. So I just simply empty this out, give this a dry, and this always sits on the counter of my shave down. Just like that, finish letting drying all the way. And just set that off to the side, wherever it is you keep it. And from there, just go ahead and take your towel and dry off the area around the sink. Just like so. And if there is any other equipment that you feel I should have included in this video that I didn't, Put it in the comments below and I will do a video and include it in next time or at some point. But um, I think I covered most the important things, your razor, your brushes, your blades, uh, your bowl that you used, soap, and then your aftershaves and everything else. I think that more or less covers everything. But if there is something you feel I missed, put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to take a look and do a video on that later on. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot. Uh, if there's something that I didn't miss, but something you feel I did wrong, put it in the comments below. I Friendly debate, always, I'm always open to learn. So we can always talk about it. If there's something you feel I did wrong or something you feel I should do differently, let me know, put it in the comments below. We can uh, talk about it, obviously, respectfully. So that being said, if you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications. If you feel the need, hit me up on Patreon and follow me on social media at the Dave Shaves. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me a comment below. That said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. 
I'll see you on the next video.